Go to an all-boys Catholic high school like the three writers did, but honestly, I would say the, the entire film is just an echo chamber of what they experienced in college. Obviously embellished um, to make it more cinematic and, and to have a better, wider audience, but honestly, they have such uh, a... There were so many scenes that they could have that they could have made and, and put in the film that obviously got cut. And so all, almost every experience that's in the film is, is some version of what happened in reality while they were attending an all-boys all Catholic high school. And then what are you excited about the most about this film today? Honestly, I'm excited for people to finally see it. We, we shot it in 2021 during COVID, and it was honestly a slog. It was incredibly tough. Uh, we, we faced weather challenges, COVID challenges. Um, obviously, getting all of our talent here to Chicago during COVID was, was a monumental task in of itself, especially for an independent film. So I'm excited that it's, you know, it's a Chicago born and raised film. We got to shoot it here. We got to bring it back and premiere it here. That's what I'm most excited about. That's very cool to see like Chicago is finally, you know, be on the radar for the film industry again. So um, this is a really well assembled cast and what's the uh, casting process for this film? You know, that's really interesting. And, and you might notice in the credits, we didn't have a casting director and we relied entirely on sort of our personal connections as well as who we felt was right for the film. And there was only a few roles that we officially cast for. And so a lot of these are just friends of friends and honestly just happened to be the best fit for the part. And we approached them directly um, without even a casting director. Um, it's my high school, we filmed it at my high school and it was um, an absolute dream come true. It's, you know, inspired by my high school. I loved my high school, Notre Dame College Prep in Niles, Illinois. So it meant the world to film it there. And how much of the script is actually uh, inspired by your real experience in school? You know, a lot of it, everything's inspired by some truth and then we exaggerated it all, but I think the characters, Leo, Sean, and Jack, are definitely deeply rooted in me and the writers. Um, we've, high school is a roller coaster, so yeah, we definitely put a lot of heart into it. I think the writing process, the best way I would probably describe it is brutally honest. Um, I think there's a lot of stories you want to get in there, but you know, it just kind of came down to what we thought was the best. Just picking and choosing, like I was the oldest of my siblings, my dad went to our school, Jack and all of his brothers went to school, so we got to pick and choose the best stories and characters and teacher students over 30, 40 years. So we kind of took what we thought was best and the funniest and put it into the movie. You know, we tried to change as little as possible, I think, um, for just the sake of, you know, limiting the destruction, we, <laughs> we probably changed a few things, but um, we tried to stay as true to life as the stories we knew for the most part. Yeah, I know the rooms are hot, a little bit dirty, there's about 30 to 40 boys jam-packed in there every day. Uh, we really want the audience to feel that, so we change as little as possible. <laughs> Can you tell us a little bit more about your role for this film? Um, her name is Jess. Uh, she's a lot. She's always got something to say. She has a very strong opinion, but she was so much fun to play. Um, you know, some people might not like her at the beginning, but that's okay. We're there for the long haul, and people will like her at the end. So, yeah, just just give her a chance is all I'm going to say. <laughs> I'm excited for everybody's reactions. I mean, we worked so hard. We had a lot of long nights, a lot of, a lot of late night shoots. To see my dancing. Yeah, I throw it down on the dance floor, and it's pretty awesome. So. Is there any hint like for what type of dancing we're going to see on the screen? Some crazy dancing. I, I have two left feet at this point, so um, yeah, I get a little wild. I get a little protective on the dance floor. So you get professionally trained for the no, dances? Absolutely not, and you can tell it is. It is all me. It's all improv on the fly. So like, I was homeschooled, and I have traveled around for, for schooling. But I think some of the click mentality in my character dress definitely has some resemblance to some mean girls in some schools. So yeah, she was really really fun to play. But also, I feel like hopefully I'm like the polar opposite of her so um, Ash and I she's over there I don't know if you spoke to Ashley but like we got so delusional when it was like three in the morning and we're still shooting and we just be in our trailer just dancing the music or you know we'd go on target trips because that was the only thing close by Nick and I would just like run to target 24 7 and just like buy the most random things I think there are nights where you know we all had a little bit to drink and make tacos on my hotel room floor so yeah we all had the best time filming together we're all like so close now and yeah we hang out all the time and hopefully they didn't you know fill you up with all the like deep dish pizza from Chicago oh my gosh you know what I gotta say it and you know what Chicago people really might not like me for this one I didn't like deep dish pizza 
It's so much, and I really tried to like it, but I just don't. I just don't, and that's okay. As an Italian at heart, I'm like more fan of the Neapolitan pizza, so I'll stick to that. You guys can have your deep dish. Ryan is the head cheerleader, the super popular girl that's cute but doesn't really know she's cute, and who's obsessed with Leo, and you know gives them a little too many chances. Uh, I play Sean in the movie. Uh, he's a cool kid. He's a jock athlete. Uh, but at the end of the day, you know, I feel like his biggest problem is that he wants to hang out with his boys more than his girl, than his girls. So, uh, you know, he, he, he's high school, trying to n navigate life, coming to age. So sure, I play Riggs. He's one of the uh, friends of, of the group, and I would say he's more of like, kind of like has an awkward personality, comedic relief to, to the to the uh, group of friends. So this is the father and son duel. I love it, love it. So is this your first time being in the same uh, film together? No, it's not the first time. It's the first time I hired him on a film. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, can you tell us a little bit more about your roles on this film? So I was uh, an exec producer. Uh, I also play a character named Evan. He's the exec producer as well. He plays Coach Krieger. Uh, I met Leo in 2017 when I was going to school out here. Uh, Leo talked to me about the project and then I brought Leo to meet my dad. He dug the project, so right away we jumped on around 2018, and now 2023 we have a shot a pilot and a film, so here we are. Well, it's nice because it's a family affair. It's people you care about, you love. He brought Leo to the house. I really liked him. They went to school together here in Columbia. They had done a pilot on their own, couldn't get anywhere with it. Then he said he wanted to do something in L.A., so we helped him shoot a sizzle pilot couldn't sell it as a TV show, but ultimately he was able to raise enough money from that sizzle pilot to shoot a film. And then I said, you know, I'll, I'll be a part of it, you know, if they want me to, and help them any way I can. So uh, here we are. He got, it was his dream to be a TV show, but it became a film. And who knows, maybe now we'll start from a movie to maybe it'll become a TV series. So it's a funny journey how things happen. But... It's uh, pretty amazing when you, you know, want to do something and and it becomes a reality. But it was a long journey for him, and we were a big part of it to help him, and uh, and still are. After we after we wrapped, we sat in the basement of our hotel for about three hours, just reminiscing on stories and drinking and just having a great night. It like really felt like the movie because, I mean, I, I don't, I'll drop a little spoiler here at the end of the movie. You see a, you see a scene where we all kind of just like, at the end of our long night, we just kind of wrap up, we drink, we're, we're just chilling as the, th the three boys, uh, Sean, Jack, and Leo. And then it just felt like that at the end of our shoot where it was, we're in the basement of the hotel, we're all just drinking, reminiscing on a great month of shooting out here in Chicago. It was just, it was such a great experience. All I can say is, uh, stay sizzy, baby, stay sizzy. And that'll make so much more sense when you watch the movie. So watch the movie and then that joke is hilarious.